Hi, my name is Pam Wright, and I'm the Chief Innovation Officer at the National Archives and Records Administration. I'm coming to you from my remote work location at my home in Silver Spring, Maryland, which is located on the ancestral territory of the Nacotchtink peoples. We are celebrating today, April 1st, 2022. It is a big day for the National Archives and for so many people in the US and around the world as we launched the 1950 census website. Not long after we launched the 1940 census website back in 2012, staff at the National Archives began scanning the original microfilm that we received from the Census Bureau for the 1950 census. And more recently, the pandemic threw everyone a curveball, but our staff persisted and found technical workarounds in order to complete scanning and to index those scanned 1950 census records. This is the first time that NARA is able to provide an initial draft of the name index. On the very first day, the records are made available. With the use of AI enhanced OCR tools, we will provide a first draft of names. And we coupled this draft uh, name index with a collaborative transcription tool that we encourage you to try out. This is an opportunity for you to help us refine and enhance the OCR created names and make the population schedules more uh, available, accessible to everyone. The entire 1950 census data set is also available for bulk download starting today. This is something NARA has not been able to do before due to technical constraints. So if you would like to create your own website or mine the data for various types of information, this is your opportunity. I am so thankful for the staff from across the National Archives who have dedicated years of their work, literally, in order to provide access to this important set of records starting today. And I want to thank you in advance for your help in refining our name index and working with us to make the records more findable. Now, I'm going to go look up my family's homestead in Montana, where I hope to find my grandmother, my dad, his seven brothers, and their one sister, that poor gal. I hope you have a marvelous time looking through the census. Thank you.